as we mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts natural feelings inside us and one of the natural feelings is the love between the opposite gender and that's absolutely natural and that's absolutely something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala approved however he also taught us how to channel these feelings and that's why the marriage comes in and marriage is in the Quran and one of the most common verses that is recited during marriage or you also see it even in the wedding invitations is the verse of Surah Al-Rum out of his signs miracles and signs that I will reflect on that khalaqa lakum created to you from among you mate and we have discussed this before that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannah Adam was lonely so he created Hawa Eve from his rib here the same thing and Allah now the generations to come that marriage is the right channel to translate the feelings between a man and a woman and he described here what feelings should we have in marriage he didn't say love subhanallah he said wajahala baynakum mawaddatan wa rahma what is mawadda affection yes but also friendship also intimacy mercy taking care of each other trusting each other sacrifice for each other it all goes under mawadda and it's interesting how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is of course the richness of the Arabic language where one word contain many meanings in the English language and then he didn't say only the mawadda but he said wa rahma wa rahma here is mercy loving mercy it's grace and even include pity so not always things as we all know goes very smooth during marriage feelings of love changes and they should change to the mawadda but sometimes the wadda may the mawadda may be less something happens then we the rahma has to come because once i have the mercy even if i don't have the love feelings the mercy will keep me going to treat my spouse in the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's very interesting how the words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use and then he ended the verse it's also a sign so he started it with a sign and he ended in fi dhalika al-ayat in dhalik in fi dhalika meaning in this what is this that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created from uh, uh, you from among you Adam mate and then he made these feelings it's signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to for those who reflect who those who think so when things doesn't go well ch- feelings changes i need to pause a little bit and remember what was the goal what are the feelings that i should have in marriage that's number one marriage in islam is highly recommended and actually rasul alayhi salatu wasalam addressed young people specifically he said ya ma'ashar al-shabab youth men and women عليكم بالباء get married فمن لم يستطع cannot do it can't afford فليصم fast why because it will keep the chastity it will protect the chastity for it so again Islam when it rules the community or the Muslim community chastity and morality is extremely important and the only way to channel naturally the way that pleases Allah our feelings that he put in us is through marriage another hadith of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help three people make their life easy subhanallah three people it is haqqun ala Allah yu'inahum it is like a right upon Allah to help them to make things easy and one of them is the young person who wants to get married to for chastity but he cannot meaning he can't afford it and actually marriage came as an order in the Quran in Surah An-Nur the chapter the light wa ankihu al-ayama minkum marry the al-ayama minkum wa salihin min ibadikum wa imaikum get married to the righteous people man or a woman and then Allah knows that you know what I can't afford it I don't know if I can do that in yakunu fuqara if they were poor yughnihum Allah min fadli Allah will make them rich and richness is not only Allah will give physical 
money or physical things, but also makes you content inside. So we really, as Muslims, need to look at marriage as it's the nucleus of this community. And it is not only feelings, but it is responsibility comes with it, sacrifice, patience, all this, and this natural love feeling will translate into the real feelings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want from us. Again, friendliness, taking care of each other, compassionate, all these in marriages. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every marriage. Ya Rabbi Ameen, may it make it easy for everyone. May Allah make every marriage that is going through difficult difficulties easier and easier. Ya Rabbi Ameen.